Do we have reason to believe in alien intelligence? This has been one of humanity's greatest riddles ever since the dawn of time. If they exist at all, where do they live? Are they striving to communicate with us in the same manner that we are attempting to connect with them? There is no doubt that aliens exist, but we are still waiting for the first alien signal to be deciphered or for a space agency to formally acknowledge the existence of extraterrestrials. Proxima Centauri has been the source of some strange signals detected by astronomers on the planet of Proxima b. What are these artificial lights that are causing so much concern in the space community? And could this be a site of intelligent life on the planet, as some have suggested? What is Proxima Centauri, actually? Proxima b was discovered in 2016 and is expected to be a rocky, terrestrial planet that is somewhat larger than Earth, with some scientists predicting that it could have liquid water. We discovered a signal from the direction of Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighbor star, in late 2020, not necessarily from Proxima Centauri itself. Project Breakthrough gave it the name BLC-1. As far as I know, it's still being investigated to make sure it isn't just an echo of our own civilization, which is normally what they are. If there is a civilization on the planets in Proxima Centauri, why not just look at them? What does it take for a civilization to exhibit light? A civilization may use powerful mirrors or require extremely brilliant LED-style lights to illuminate their cities because it is tidally locked to its little red dwarf star and is likely to have a permanent night side. So how can this James Webb telescope actually discover extraterrestrial life? They predict that if artificial light does exist, it can be detected using the near-infrared sensor on the James Webb telescope and looking for telltale traces of LED light waves and the light from the planet and its host star. It has taken Professor Lowe up more than a decade to make predictions and suggestions on how extraterrestrial life might be discovered. With his involvement in the Breakthrough Starshot project, high-speed laser-boosted light sails will be launched in decades toward the Proxima Centauri star system. Furthermore, a study written by the astronomer claims that the interstellar asteroids Oumuamua and Vesta were humanity's first contact with an artifact of extraterrestrial intelligence. He's currently focusing on Proxima b, which is a hot spot for many people looking for signals of intelligent extraterrestrial life beyond our solar system. The planet is 1.27 times the size of Earth. It is in the habitable zone of its star, which means that there may be liquid water on its surface. It is only 4.2 light years away, which in space terms is like being right next door. However, because the star is so small, the planet is tidally locked, with one side permanently facing the star, making it difficult for life to thrive. In addition, there is concern that it is extremely unlikely that life could emerge on the day side of the planet because of the constant stream of powerful radiation from its star. Proxima b is only 4.5 million miles away, which is about a tenth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun at its closest point. Radio astronomers have already detected radio signals from the vicinity of Proxima b, but they believe this was likely due to natural interference. Numerous clues point to the presence of advanced technology in another world. When a huge constellation of satellites passes over a faraway planet, we may observe its lights pulsate with the movement of its orbit. From nuclear combat, contamination in the atmosphere may be observable. Natural phenomena like orbiting debris or a comet collision could possibly have generated these signs of technology, but artificial illumination is separate from natural starlight. Due to tidal locking, Professor Loeb began to wonder what if the powerful James Webb telescope could detect LED lights on Earth. In order to see if there were any artificial lights on Proxima b's dark side, the researchers computed the light curves from both the planet and the star that it orbits. The two possibilities we evaluate are artificial illumination with the same spectrum as LEDs on Earth and a narrower spectrum that leads to the same fraction of light as the entire artificial illumination on Earth, they stated. LED-type artificial lights accounting for 5% of stellar power can be detected by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, according to the team's findings. In order for our predictions to be accurate, we need the Near Infrared Spectrograph, or NIR Spec, instrument to work optimally. And even if this is not achievable with the JWST, future observatories like Louvoir may be able to detect this artificial lighting, they said. Large UV Optical IR Surveyor, or LUVOIR, is a NASA-initiated plan for a massive new multi-wavelength observatory orbiting the Earth. It will be possible to characterize the atmosphere of the planet if James Webb is successful in detecting the narrow band light that is similar to LED bulbs. This will be the case if the spacecraft is able to detect light. 
By doing so, researchers will be able to use instruments on the observatory to detect how much energy transport occurs on the planet and then perform calculations of light curves to determine whether or not they match those of an LED light source. This will be possible because doing so will allow researchers to use the observatory. The JWST Exposure Time Calculator was utilized by Loeb and his team of researchers in order to arrive at the hypothesis that it may be able to detect artificial light. Using this technology, astronomers are able to make predictions about what can be detected in any particular time period, depending on the settings that have been predefined. It enabled them to determine the likelihood of detecting different flux values and to detect those with a wavelength that matches artificial light levels that should be expected from a civilization living in permanent darkness. Additionally, it enabled them to determine the likelihood of detecting those with a wavelength that matches artificial light levels. According to what was said by the researchers, Proxima B is tidally locked, and if it has a permanent day and night side, the civilization might illuminate the night side using mirrors thrown into orbit or set at key spots. If this is the case, then the lights that are shining onto the permanent night side should be highly powerful, and so JWST should have a greater chance of detecting them. We have discovered that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to show the existence of artificial illumination for ordinary LEDs 500 times more powerful than those that are now found on Earth's, as well as for artificial illumination of similar magnitude to Earth's. Separate research that investigated the possible applications of the James Webb Space Telescope found that it might be able to identify evidence of life on other planets as early as the year 2026. It has the capability to detect the traces that are left behind by live organisms, and experts at Ohio State say that it may find life on another planet in less than 60 hours. Caprice Phillips, a graduate student, explained that the findings of her research indicate that it is possible for us to realistically uncover evidence of life in the next 5 to 10 years. Phillips came to the conclusion that the James Webb Space Telescope will have the capability to identify ammonia surrounding gas dwarf planets after observing them for only a few orbits. Astronomers from Stanford University and Harvard University took the JWST for a virtual extraterrestrial light hunting test ride. The James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities are put to the test in this study, which verifies the paper specs. As a proportion of the solar illumination reflected from the planet's day side calculated the amount of artificial illumination. According to this scale, 0% means there is no artificial illumination on this side of the globe. 100% signifies that there is no difference in luminosity between the day and night hemispheres. One can presume the hypothetical society on Proxima b uses a light source that has a specific artificial spectrum comparable to that of LEDs here on Earth. The outcome? JWST might identify artificial light from Proxima b with 85% certainty if the artificial night site illumination reaches 5% of the natural daytime illumination. The detection confidence of JWST rises to 95% if artificial illumination reaches this level. So, this was all about this video. I hope you liked the information given in the video, and if you have anything on your mind, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this, and hit the bell icon to get the notification of the latest updates on the channel. And thanks for watching!